The president, during his second day tour of the Ashanti region, first granted an interview on Kumasi Bay's Otek FM, where he justified what government had to resort to the International Monetary Fund. Even though big efforts are being made to change the structure of our economy, we're still very much an import-driven economy. It's unfortunate, but that is the reality that we're dealing with in, in Ghana. All these factors, where these huge increases in prices, freight rates, fertilizer price, commodity prices, you're talking about three, four, five percent, uh, five time increases in certain essential uh, 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 materials in the world. Obviously, it's going to have a major impact on your balance of payments, your budget, your ability to finance your budget. And these are the difficulties in which our economy has gone into. So we took, it took us some time. Some of my ministers are here. They can confirm to you. We had a series of discussions about it and decided that we have no option but to cash in on our membership of this fund to see what the fund can do to help us in the short run overcome some of these problems. He also explained why he maintained Finance Minister Ken Oferata and other ministers. We were under an IMF program right until 2019. But this man was able to organize the management of our economy in such a way that not only were we able to roll out all these programs in that first year and subsequent years, but our economy's growth was spectacular. Somebody who has been able to do that, why would I say that? I, how do I do that? How do I do that? What, what will be the basis? What is the rationale? He later commissioned a residential facility for court of appeal judges at Danyame in Kumase for judges in the northern sector of the country. The government, through the Ministry of Local Government and the District Assembly Common Fund, has commenced in an unprecedented initiative the construction of 90 courts with accompanying accommodation for judges across the country to help address the problem of inadequate court infrastructure. Through the efficiency and ingenuity of the Administrator of the District Assembly Common Fund, the Honorable Irene Naotoshi Ado, we are in fact constructing 120 courts and 150 bungalows and not the 90 that was originally contemplated. 70% of these projects are completed. And with the commissioning of this residential complex here in Kumasi, and the magistrate's court in Twasi later this afternoon, I deem all the completed projects duly commissioned. The Attorney General, Godfrey Yabuadami, on his part, called for more courts in deplorable state to receive facelift to improve justice delivery. I must commend Parliament for the support it gave in this regard. I will, however, urge Parliament to do more, as we need more courthouses. Dilapidated structures housing courts around the country have to be redesigned and or reconstructed to suit the current demands of justice delivery. Chief Justice Christian Yabua also wants more persons to be recruited to work in new courts that have been established. This facility we are inaugurating today will require the engagement of a number of staff for its efficient management and maintenance. They include, but not limited to, a facilities manager, artisans, and other workmen. The new courts, all of which come with fully furnished residential accommodation for judges and magistrates, will require the appropriate human resources in the right numbers. In other ways, the increase in infrastructure has direct relationship with the number of judges and magistrates and administrative staff. The completion of this district court is expected to improve justice delivery within the area. For City News, I'm Edward Upon Marvel.